Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us this evening for our annual Visiting Chef Dinner. My name is Julia Chen, and I'm the Activities Manager here at the club. Our most eagerly anticipated event of the year, we are honored to welcome tonight four illustrious guest chefs, Jacques Torres, Alain Sayac, Andre Soltner, and Jacques Fepon. Before I give a quick introduction of our guest tonight, a word on the flow of the evening. Our guest chefs will be demoing the courses, and we ask that you respect our guests and your attendees by refraining from speaking during the demo portion. Thank you. Now, first of all, Jacques Torres is a master pastry chef and chocolatier, referred to affectionately as Mr. Chocolate. Chef Torres and his chocolate became an instant success after the opening of his first chocolate factory in 2000, and he was also inducted into the Chocolate Hall of Fame. Chef Sayak gained the title, the original four-star chef, when he assisted Lessing in receiving the first ever four-star rating in 1977. <laughs> However, he is most well-known for his impact on American fine dining through his tenure as executive chef of Le Cirque. As the chef slash owner of Lutas for 34 years, Chef Andre Solner didn't just serve some of the world's finest French cuisine, he elevated it to a high art. He has, <laughs> he has always seen himself as a craftsman, and his restaurant was a New York City four-star institution, considered the paragon of classic French cuisine. And of course, Jacques Vipin is a world-renowned as the host of his acclaimed and popular cooking programs on public television, and is a prolific author, respected instructor, and gifted artist, who in fact hand-painted your menus tonight. <laughs> He also illustrates a number of cookbooks, many of which are available for purchase tonight, and he is happy to sign them. So please feel free to stop by our book table. Of course, I must say a word about our own executive chef of the Yale Club, Charles Curley. <laughs> chef Curley has worked at the club for over 25 years, and in his tenure dramatically improved the quality, consistency, presentation, and reputation of the food you enjoy in our clubhouse today. Tonight, we are also excited to be joined by Chef Vipan's daughter, Claudine. Claud <laughs> Claudine works closely with her father on many ventures, including the Jacques Vipan Foundation, which will speak a few, few words on tonight. Good evening. First of all, I'm, I'm honored, delighted, and, and um, just really happy on the inside to be here. Okay. <laughs> or I'm not. I don't, I don't know. Um, to be in a room with gentlemen that I have considered family for my whole life is really just, just a very happy feeling. So I'm just not that tall. Um, so I hope that you all get the chance to enjoy your dinner and your dinner guests, and I hope that they are a wonderful family that you really love. I will give you the 27-second spiel on the Jacques Pépin Foundation we, my husband and I started it about six years ago because people start foundations for people that are dead. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something while he was very, very much alive and could contribute and could pretty much yell at us about what we're doing. So that's, we started the Jacques Pépin Foundation. And what we do is we support existing community kitchens with funding and equipment and teaching experience as much as we possibly can. We're in our fourth year, and every year so far, thanks to our awesome Marissa, we, yes, Marissa is the best. We do our annual gala here, and this year it will be on Thursday, April 2nd. The gala does sell out rather quickly, um, and Christmas is coming, no, I'm kidding. but the gala does sell out rather quickly. So if you hear of it and you're interested, it's, um, it's a really, really fun event. And there are lots of chefs, not just these guys. So um, there's a whole lot of chefs there. So I hope to see some of you there. I thank you very much for your time, which was a bit of a surprise to me. And um, I look forward to a lovely evening with these awesome, wonderful gentlemen who are going to do demos here. Jock, take Merci, bonsoir. Okay, next. So I just want to welcome everyone and thank everyone for coming. Uh, we are so fortunate that these four accomplished chefs have been coming here for over 15 years doing this event with us. So I, I want to thank them now 
and I uh, hope you all enjoy the evening and have a nice time. Did you that? Anyone else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. And, don't think. And, don't bon, think. and bon appétit. Yes, okay. Sometimes we think, and that's bad. Okay, so we're going to do a menu tonight. We, we have the menu that uh, I did there, and uh, I think we're going to start with André. Right? André, we're starting with you. Okay. Yeah, we're doing an oyster. Okay. Uh, an oyster I, dish. I, I go to make you uh, no, no, warm no, no. oysters. You, you. Uh, so we do is. a julienne of leek. No. We sauté the julienne, and we, we poached the oysters. They are poached already to gain a little time. And then we make a, a light sauce, light cream sauce, and uh, we put them under the salamander, under the broiler, just, just to brown them Ginger. a little bit. And that's it. Et voilà. <laughs> okay, let, let's go. Okay. And you're welcome to ask questions. You know, I mean. Okay. Ah. So the oysters are poached. So we we need we need the juice. We put it in here. Voila. And we put some white wine. I should have enough, but uh, I'm not sure because before, before I came, they drank it a little bit. Where, where is the rest? This is from Alsace. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Pepe, where is my wine? <laughs> okay, so we have the juice here. And we put he some. You only use wine from Alsace, you know, so. Okay, we have to Let's bring that to I a boil. Have. And we have a little chicken stock. Yeah. We have Check to bring off. that to the, as fast as possible to put it Yeah, you can stand up and ask a question if you want. You know? I mean, I have and here question myself, but I'm we not know, going to We ask need it. whipped cream as soon it boils. Well, in the meantime, we put the garniture. We, we have the julienne of, of the leek. We put one or two potatoes. What is that? Potatoes. Oh, potato. You don't okay. like potatoes? I love potatoes. You're from Paris? No. Yeah, no, no. 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 Okay. So, so, this is what? That, that's little spinach. Spinach. And we put two, three lardons. Okay. Okay. Brand, branded pancetta. Uh, and on top of that, we put our poached oysters. The, those oysters are raw, right? No, they are poached for about 15 seconds. They are, oh, they are. Yeah, okay. Because we need the juice, you know. So we put that okay. here. So you have a mixture of the oyster, spinach, potato, uh, yeah. lardo. Yeah. Lardon, little and corn a, here, you see. And a little bit of corn, yeah? Yeah. Now all what we need is, is the sauce. Yeah, it's, this is a great place. Did you steal that recipe that from my book? That's right, yeah. It's, <laughs> the recipe is in my book, yeah. <laughs> okay, as soon it boils, we make the sauce. So, this One is minute. the first course. We have to reduce. We have to reduce the white wine with with the with the oyster juice. As soon it boils. You want to taste it? Yeah, no, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Yeah. It doesn't go too fast because it has to reduce a little bit. Okay, well, that will be enough. It has to thicken just a little bit, any, to any thicken question? a little bit that it's like velvet. Yes, sir. Claudine, could and you come soon, here and test the question? <laughs> soon it reduces. Claudine is going to be the intermediary there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, we put the whipped cream in. I was going to wait with this question, but no one else is asking. So I would like to know, for each of you, what is the biggest honor or occasion you're most proud of, your That's best so dish? Mm -hmm. And then the next question is, what was your biggest embarrassment or disaster? 
<laughs> okay, so you all and have some work to do. Your biggest accomplishment and your biggest catastrophe. Okay. We take and with a little bottle. Until he's done with. When you put the bottle butter. in, yes, the bottle should butter. be cold. That it thickens a little bit. Butter. Hopla. It's very light. You see, it yeah. starts to thicken. So you have a mixture here of white wine and the stock of the oyster, right? Exactly. And then you finish it with butter? Well, I give you the recipe after. Usually I don't give him, because if I give him the recipe, he will have a, a next book. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> this is never going to happen, because that recipe is actually one of my books. Yeah. <laughs> he took it. OK, do, do you want to taste it? Just in case. No, just no. in case. I, I don't know. <laughs> you like it? I like, I like everything I do. <laughs> what, what, what you do a little bit, I'm not so sure, you know? <laughs> oh, you good. Okay, so. Sorry about the question part. I'll try and get so, there. So we put the, cre the cream sauce around. And, and from here, it goes now under the salamander, under the broiler. Just for two, three minutes. And here we go. I hope we, you will enjoy. Thank you. Okay, so as we're, as we're redoing the mise en place, um, Tonton, okay, I've known Tonton, yeah, Tonton, yeah, Tonton André for, my, well, since before I was born. Since so, you were born. Um, <laughs> so there are two questions. What is your happiest milestone, and what was your biggest disaster? And I'm assuming both of those My things involve the kitchen. What was the best thing you did in the kitchen and the worst thing you did in the kitchen? I think in the kitchen Well, I start with good. the worst. Once I did for a very important He's on mic, right? uh, 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 man, and I made a big fish, and when it gave it to the waiter, it fell down. <laughs> that was my worst. Oh my God. I don't worst. tell you the end this because we had to serve, you know. <laughs> no! Is that, is that, is that, still is that, is that the best thing so or the worst? That, that's the worst I have. <laughs> so for the best, but the best was every day when, when, the finish, when we were finished cooking and the customers they had a smile. That was the best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, Tonto Anna, it's up to you. Yes, this is like my whole extended family. Okay, best kitchen and worst kitchen. The best kitchen and the worst kitchen. I don't think I've never been in a worst kitchen when I was there. He never did anything wrong. Because, <laughs> aye, 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 aye. <laughs> because the worst kitchen do not exist for the person who is the chef. Because he's the chef, he's very happy in that kitchen, he's okay. Most of the time, chefs are uh, tense and build uh, a lot of ambience who is not too good. I need more. And they build up their kitchen who is become worse. So they are, most of the time, you know, responsible. <laughs> yeah. But could it be maybe your worst story is a commis instead of a chef, and Tell your best story is a chef? I'm sorry? Something <laughs> ca like a catastrophe that you had in the kitchen. Many catastrophe, but there was... Uh, there was not for the people. I mean, is because of something forget, you know, someone forget to close the water at night. When you don't come, you know, on the morning exactly. and uh, the kitchen is full of water everywhere, stuff like that. But, but Accident stuff more like than that. Because that's what we all yeah. that But What's I mean, the best thing? Between, What's a joyful between, thing that happened in the kitchen? You know what? In the kitchen, yeah. if you love that's what that's you're doing, if you love what you're doing, you cannot have a problem. You cannot. Don't be empty. The problem. <laughs> that you have, you will solve. You will solve one way to another. I always... Myself is 
We are now, we are a 400, we have a 400 students in the school. And I want to tell you, they are very happy all the time. Why? Because the chef is very happy. Well, that's absolutely okay, true. That's very important. Okay. You know, okay. you, you. Okay, I'm going to go to the next person because yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, the truth is, okay, is that I have heard all of these guys say one thing about being a chef, yeah. Yeah. and being a chef is about the art of recovery. Just yeah. keep that in mind. Okay. okay. Do I, Do I have to do something? All right. Okay. Your Your story is next. My story is next. Okay. Yep. The greatest thing that I ever what? cooked was. 11 seconds. To cook for you when you were a kid. Salim. The worst thing that I ever did was to cook for you when you were a kid. <laughs> what a bad one. Okay. So, ask him. Okay. okay. So, the best things own. in the kitchen. Oh. I want to let you know that my wife is here today. See. And actually, this my gone. wife that's walked gone. with me in the kitchen this and gone. I can tell you that's something. Gone. And that's a secret. Whatever happened in the, the kitchen, stay in the kitchen. Stay in the kitchen. Tu sais pas de quoi je... Je ne sais jamais rien. So that was the best thing. The worst thing is, it happened to me to make a wedding cake that didn't fit the door of the room where the wedding cake is supposed to pass. And I get in big trouble for that. So I think that was the worst thing that happened to me in the kitchen. <laughs> Good, thank they, you. They still get married, so that's fine. All right. 11 seconds. Oh, yeah, that was good. So now the next dish is... Uh, what is the next dish? The next dish on your menu is uh, Alain Sayac dish, je, whatever je, that je, is. Salmon. Salmon okay. with uh, skin and fresh ginger. Something very, very, very good. Oh, because, it's a, because it's a lot of people with salmon here, but they cook the same way. Um, I like the skin of the salmon. It's unbelievable, it's so good. So I put a touch of oil, just a little bit. You can see that, you know? Just before Alain Sayak start, I'm next, and there is a duck. And the duck will take a while. I have a breast of duck here with the skin. The skin is cold and all that. And we're going to do okay. the breast of duck. So I'm putting the breast of duck to cook here. No fat, nothing in a non stick pan. Only on the skin. Because I will cook it four, five, six minutes. The skin will get crisp. Then I will cover it. And there will be enough steam to continue cooking the duck without turning the duck. For three but hours. It, it, it's going to take. A little while, so I want to start before him because when he starts cooking, it takes forever. <laughs> so. All right, fine. Okay. So, the salmon, clear, neat, the skin, the scale left, and you put just a touch of oil. Don't put too much because all the fish have a lot of fat. And you come like that. You go in bed for two hours and you come back. <laughs> you, uh, did you do that recipe at Le Cirque? Uh, and I was chef at Le Cirque for, what, 35 years? All right, yeah, fine. I know you're but getting old, you know. I know you're getting old. How, how eight long? years only. Eight years at Le Cirque, right? And that, you know you, why I am at Le Cirque? Because Andre Solnier told me they need a chef for Le Cirque. So I oh. contacted Sirio, and Sirio told me, come in Italy. So we went in Italy, and we and have you, a family. You should start with the, the, the beginning. He was the chef in another restaurant. The owner was, was my friend, and he didn't go to work. So he said, finished with you. So he was looking for a job. That's, that's the, the beginning, right? Andre, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you were the chef at 21 after, right? Oh, long when time after. Long, long time, time after, after. yeah. Yes. When, when we I are left, talking now to yeah. 40 years ago. I know, I know. So, so did you hear? No. No, no, I didn't hear. But I mean, you know, he's cooking slowly. Put a little salt on top over there. Put a little pepper, just a touch, okay. And 
Tu vas what I like is ginger. You know what ginger is? So you shred the ginger. See what we have? So what do you have here, ginger? Ginger. You shred it because we're going to put that on the salmon before we turn. Now, when you were in France, have you ever heard, have you ever used ginger? Never. No, I no, 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 no. <laughs> At the Cirque, did you ever use ginger? Never. <laughs> Why the heck are you using ginger? <laughs> because I love a ginger. Oh, okay. <laughs> And what do you use as someone that, because he's good, or she good, no? Okay, well, a ginger is the same. Hey, don't perfume my salmon with your dog, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yeah, my dog is cooking nicely here. But as I said again, you know, only on the skin. So look at ginger, if you use a ginger, you shred, very, very, very. Don't come here, you, okay? I'm learning, I'm learning. You are, you a mess. You put me butter in my hand, you put a lot of things all the time. Alain has his hands behind him like that when Jack was speaking, and I went behind him and I put a piece of butter in his hand, so he squeezed and the butter went all over his fingers. That's why he's so mad at me. And now, now he's very happy. He's very happy. And do we have any more questions? Any question? Any other question there? Someone can ask. Claudine can run around and ask the question. Uh, yeah, you a, preferably have a food and drink. drink. You have a tongue? They don't want to know anything about no the sex life. Oh, no. Hey, hey. No tongue? Yeah. All right. So Anyone? Yeah, I'm so you see the skin? change your color. And the salmon like this is better to eat if you cook just a little bit. If you cook too much the salmon, it's not good at all. So you have to eat when it's warm only. And you will see that. I mean, how many people here? Okay. Do question? we have enough salmon here? So what is the question? Yes. Yeah. My question is, your inspiration for cooking does it come from the process, the love of the process, or the love of the people that you're cooking for? That's a good question. Claudine, you want to repeat the question? Come here. I was wondering um, where your inspiration for cooking comes from. Does it come from the process itself, the love of the process itself, or the love for the people that you're cooking for? Please them. Well. Yeah, it comes gradually. You want to start? It comes gradually. Uh, you start with the mother a little bit, and then uh, little by little. At the beginning, sometimes she didn't like it, and then uh, you go to apprenticeship, and little by little, you start to love it. The inspiration comes from the time of the year. It's spring, it's summer, what's going on? I have my garden, I have beautiful letters, so I have this, that too. I have my daughter coming, I have this, I have other people. I, mean, I have a hangover, I don't have a hangover, to all of those, you know, you do. Yeah, of course, you go, basically it starts with good ingredients. Whether it's from the garden or one thing or another, you go there and you have, you have a tongue. people coming, tongue. and you want to be happy, but basically okay. cooking is making people happy. So, ultimately you want to make people happy. So, whoever comes to your house, you know, I mean, I have someone coming I've never met. I'm not going to be pig feet and tripe because they probably won't like it. They may I love it, but probably not. So, you know, it all goes with this. The season of the year, who the people are, but ultimately, that's our goal, to make people happy, you know, so. Right. Okay. Does anyone else have a concern? Do you see what's going also, on now? I will say that their this is dry for now. cooking is because they're always hungry. Here. Yeah. So for each of the four of you, if there were one city in France that you would recommend for food and ambiance and everything, other than Paris, which would, which would those cities be? I don't know. I mean, 
uh, they will be able to answer that more than I am because André is from Alsace, the northeast part of France. He goes there every year. He has an apartment in the south of France in Cannes. Alain has an apartment in the south of France as well, in Menton. Yeah. So they go there probably more than I do. So they're asking you about what a great restaurant now. Where would be your preferred region in France? It should be Lyon, of course, but where would be your preferred region to eat in France? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I put the ginger, and on top of the ginger, I put sugar, yeah, the flour. So, so like this. Sugar? You know that sugar. That's OK. Yeah. So now we turn. So like this, the ginger is going to be cooked a little more, just a little color, and the salmon will be ready. And if you eat the salmon like this, you will remember all your life. So you can come here, but it's not enough for everybody. OK, so. So where would you like to eat in France? If people are going to France, where would you send them? What region of France would you send them? Which region of France would you like to, to what? Which region of France would you like to, to have a good meal? In Alsace, of course. Oh, in Alsace, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and Auberge de Lille, the best. Yeah. Oh my God. And he's from, uh, <laughs> qu'est-ce que tu veux? Nothing. So what would you want to eat in France where you have the best meal? Alain. Uh, yeah, you know what? What? In France, I can eat anywhere. And um, I have a practically a good meal, practically anywhere. Um, but you don't want to go on those very fancy, fancy, fancy restaurants. You can go to those restaurants who are there for 20 or 30 years. That's mean if, if they are for 30 years there, that's mean they're good. This is red pepper. Okay. okay. Red pepper, you peel, you confit slowly with olive oil. This guy will use butter. This guy will use butter. Me, I use olive oil. Okay. That's why he's the you only one who's going to die in good health. That's it. And now you put your salmon like that. And bon appetit. Okay, we this have another question. This is a very, 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 very simple one. Allez, okay. bravo, bravo. Okay. Can I see the crust on you? Oh, what? All right. Can you show the crust under? The crust? That the crust? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Under, under it. Uh, underneath. underneath. No, no, underneath. underneath? No, he's not. He's you not put good. the flour underneath. Yeah. Why did you put the flour so? So can we, he won't put the flour underneath. so yeah. like this, when you turn, the ginger doesn't <laughs> spray uh, in. Okay. So the flour stops the whole thing. You make a little color, and so the ginger stick up to the salmon. Thank you, chef. I'm sorry. Thank you, chef. Okay. He's not Jacques Ricci. So we have an... He's my Ricci. Yes? Hello. Uh, my name is Anna. Thank you for coming to show us and cook. Um, I'm wondering who your harshest critic is in the kitchen. Maybe your wife or, your, or, or daughter or... One of you. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear the Did you hear the question? There's the three old guys there. No one can hear anything. Okay. <laughs> the question is, who is your your biggest critic in the kitchen? The what? Your biggest critic in the kitchen. It's mom, but it's your. Oh. Who's your biggest critic in the kitchen? Yes. I mean, I've been married 53 years, and uh, I am not even going to uh, get there. But uh, yeah, my so. As you see here, I've cut that, uh, I didn't turn it. It stay on the skin for like 10, 10, 12 minutes there on the skin, and it will stay on the skin like this. I won't turn it. And we, so here, it should rest like five, 10 minutes. But in the meantime, in the dressing here, I have some, uh, some turnips, and the turnips are cooked in, um, uh, cooked with a little bit of sugar and stuck, and a couple of onions the same way. The onions are cooked with a little bit of sugar and stuck, and that will glaze them. So we glaze them, and a bit of uh, uh, 
lima beans here, fresh lima beans. I go there, I'm going to cook the heat a little bit here. And, uh, and that, we have a little bit of a reduction, which is the brown stock. When you bone out the chicken, with the neck, gizzard, and all that, you brought it into the oven, and, do, and eventually you do a stock that you brown here. And this is basically, it's going to be the soul going with it. With that. Now, very often now, in uh, modern cutting, you can see this is very crisp and very done. People are going to cut it into thin slices and all that. I don't like to cut it into thin slices. First, all the juice come out of it, and then it gets cold. So I may cut it in half, just to show you the inside. Blue. You see, the inside is nice and pink and beautiful here. And I will put the vegetable around. That we have done here. You see, the secret of cooking, the secret of cooking is to make people wait and wait and wait. So you know, by the time you give them anything to eat, they say, this is really good. <laughs> All right, so here we have the breast, we have the first course, the main course, I would put this here, of course. I would have all of the different vegetables here, and then my duck, all that cut this way. And that's about it. And now we are going to the best part of the meal, which of course is the dessert. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So I just want to show you how to spice up a dessert, how to make a dessert that you can buy anywhere and make it look a little bit better. So what I did, I take a one pound of sugar and I add two, uh, pardon, yeah, two ounces of corn syrup, a little bit of water, stir it together, put it on the stove and cook it to caramel color. Okay, so it take, it take time to do it. So I did it a little bit earlier. So now I have my, uh, my caramel here. I'm going to take some cooking spray. Uh, do not take the one with garlic flavor because it's dessert. <laughs> so you put a little bit of that spray. I like to put the spray once, wipe it, and then one more time. So just to be sure that the spray go everywhere. Alain, show me your hair. And Jack, how long? <laughs> How long did you do that, that caramel here? It's been there for a while. So the caramel was there for a while, so I put it two times in the microwave, just to make it but honey now, consistency. It's you very see, this is honey consistency. Good. Okay, so I'm going to take this caramel here. Just be careful to don't burn yourself when you do that. And what you do, you let the caramel fall into the side of the bowl like that. And then take a little bit more, and then keep going this way. Now remember, because that's going to be a cage, and the cage going to be upside down, the top going to become the bottom. So you want to reinforce the top. Where is Charles here, the chef? He has one of those for every one of you. <laughs> 150 cage. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to walk here. So, yeah. it doesn't work all the time, okay? So I'm just letting you know, if it doesn't come out, it's not by fault, it just doesn't work all the time. <laughs> so when you have sugar everywhere, oh, by the way, working with sugar, it's always a little bit dangerous. So have a, a bowl of water next to you. So if you burn yourself, put the hands in the water. So where is the water? The water is here, yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add, or to pour a little water here on the outside of the bowl, just to cool it down a tiny bit. Cold water, yeah, right, yeah. Cold, oh, I put some inside, that's no good. And then I'm going to pull the cage ah, out. Ah, bien, ah, bien. Wait, wait. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. We are going to take a plate. So, of course, you buy something at Jacques Torres Chocolate before you do that. <laughs> and stick the cage, put it over, let it come out. And ah, voila, yeah. and you have a beautiful sugar cake on top of your dessert.
11 seconds. Beautiful. You see, 11 seconds. Beautiful. It's very Eleven simple to be a pastry chef. Huh? Incredible. It's it's cooking is a little. Listen to Long. that. Listen yeah. to that. Yeah. One, two, three. Look. And That's it. That's nice. It. Nice. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jacques. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. And we'll come around. And those guys can sign your menu if you want to, but we'll come around, right? And you can sign uh, I have to add one more thing. You're not going to believe that, but between those three gentlemen, there is almost 200 years of experience in cooking. <laughs> no, wait it's true, no? <laughs> no. 70, I was in apprenticeship in 1949. 70 years. That's about 70 years for you, too. I, I started in 1961. No, 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 no. 1948, I started. Oh, yes. So one year before me. So that's, uh, that's uh, okay, that's 142 years than you. 1915. Now, 1950. No, no, no. You were an apprenticeship. Can't they tell an apprenticeship? 1950, yeah. 14 years old, yeah. Yeah, so the and, three of us, or the four of us, Probably before Washington was elected. 200, <laughs> almost 250 <laughs> years, yeah? Oh my God, oh, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, old. Yeah, yeah. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Thank you.